What's good, Sly Cruz, your boy Sly? Hope you're having a late day today. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Now, it took me a minute to upload this episode. I know y'all was waiting. Some of y'all was waiting, but I had to go get a new controller. That blue one is finally done. Like, I couldn't hear out the headset. The audio jack wasn't working. And plus, it had a little, like, slow turn. Like, heat start creeping off every once in a while when you're not touching the controller. So your boy got a new one. So we're gonna jump into this Wolf Among Us. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, become a part of Sly Crew. This episode is probably gonna be like 40 minutes long, so y'all might want to get some snacks. My snack is a just a, a juice, you know, just a minute made juice. Let's jump in here. I made a playlist as well. Excuse me. I made a playlist. Y'all could go watch this start to finish. If we finish it, if y'all keep getting it to 50 likes, and we good. Let's go. Episode three: A Crooked Mile. I will give y'all a recap, but y'all might want to go check that out. Y'all know what happened. We found out it was Crane. That's I did all I'm as well say. as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep straight out. I have to find heart. Crane. And try and get some rest. I can't take I it easy. Crane. I have to. I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. They'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. How's that? And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. I need to get smart mouth with him. Business office. He just helped us. I know. I'll have to call you back. Juice box. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. All right, pimp. One love. What's up? So, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. Him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it. Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan currently. But just wait I, for I the mirror now. Nah. Any other leads? Crane's There's getting no away. No other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane Buff sent them. I don't know if. I mean. This is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed everything. those women? I think because he killed, it's just, really. it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. We can't go around pointing fingers just because we've seen what we've seen. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward, hidden, a liar. Anchorbitch Crane. I'll always hate him for that, and I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts but murdering prostitutes ow everything okay over there yes miss white so I just cut myself on a piece of the glass nothing to worry about thanks for tonight yeah. by the way that could have gone really terribly i mean even worse than it did i'm glad you were there i just can't fucking stand that they got away we'll catch up to them bigby you did enough Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. Yeah, you won't. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like yeah. before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that Maybe, in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it. 
when things go wrong. Because Who it gives you, you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't give a damn what Snow will uh, remember. Guys, we have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane what took you. do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve exactly. this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. I like Buff Kimbra. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. He had to put in her place real quick. Buff what can you do to this mirror? Can y'all get like some can y'all get like some foil and put it right there? Shit, would that work? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Okay. Why didn't you stop him? What? Why didn't you stop him? Why would I even say that? It's Buffkin, like, it's a little monkey bear. You think he gonna stop Crane? It's not your you fault. You didn't see, see anything, anything else, else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. That'd be helpful, because Snow just wanna be nosy and dig through his things. After he tried to dig in her thing, That's this Inkabot. Where's the, uh, let's go look at this. Maybe this will work this time. Can we check this out? No? Damn, why you here, bruh? All right. Boy, look at the desk. Are you serious, Big B? You have to go all the way around just to do this? Where are you going? Bam. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. You only I need want to, know. to know. Trust me. I need to oh, know. Oh, you want to know? Crane was uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me yeah, if I spare you, you the feel details. sick, huh? I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? How can you blame him? Look at you. He wants some. I feel him. But shit, we gotta find him. He did so wrong. You, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Don't look like you looked at nothing. Shit's still here. I'm not about to read these. You got it, Bigby? Wow. Ain't a bitch crane. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do which could do with some improvements. I'm seeing some unrest from residents and i have to admit i can see why the farm should not be a punishment i'm sure you're busy but i think this should be made a priority best 
Waylon Smith. Don't look at each other like y'all ready. I read the shit. I'm not reading no more either. I'm gonna just pick them up. No, I'm gonna read it. I see the little the little drawer thing thing. If I picked it up, that mean they ready. So we could just pick them all up and put them all back down. Boom, by being ever get do any work. Only when Cole was around. There go. Boom. Now let's look in here. This is what I'm supposed to be looking at. It's okay, Big B, break it open. Smiling at each other. Y'all trying to do something? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? Swooped in. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about you this glamours. ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the That's meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull okay. pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Hey, you gotta chill, bro. Put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that go, unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. You need to get your ass home. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere the else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You, you acting like Crane? You want fight? And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time right. waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just 
can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay hey, out of the ice. Right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Uh, you think he can't hear you? Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Can work on your whispering. You're about to give me a choice. Find the witch. Okay. So you leave Crane alone, then we we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but okay. there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Crane's apartment. I said the best bet is Crane's apartment. Right? We looking for Crane. Shit, let's see what he left in his apartment. We already sprayed in his office. Fucking Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. They just some idiots. Crane's I'm gonna I'm I'm pick right Crane's here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Bitch. I've been running the show this whole damn time. I hope you know what you doing. You got touched and wasn't even really you. You got your head taken off, it wasn't really you. He missing his target. Who really doing the right thing? Cause it sound like Big be ahead of the game right now. I'm the big bad wolf. Big bad sly. Now let's go up to Crane shit and see what the hell he got going on. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. And it's open. And it says crane on the door. I didn't even see this right here. I ain't yelling. Open the damn door. Crane? Anchor bitch. Crane apartment. One hour and 55 minutes left. Alright, y'all. We got two hours to find out where Crane is at. Nigga really got a statue of his own Must big ass head. Him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. You right. Let's find out. It ain't gonna be in the open, so let's look in the non curious places. Bag. This hasn't been used in years. Merry Christmas, Crane. I Thanks forgot. for your bullshit. You used to teach in the old days. Yeah, buddy was a teacher. That's a secret lever or something? No, I thought it was gonna pull that shit and something's gonna happen. There's a message. Yeah, here. Crane. Look, the crooked man is an happy compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. Alright? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, Math, science, history. The light on now. See ya. I had to guess. This shit didn't All work. Right. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Right, that nigga. That nigga boy Crane is cheesing. I ain't never seen that boy cheesy cheese cheese like that. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Bruh. This is my shit now. That boy ain't been paying me. I've been broke this whole gameplay. Give me the damn money. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. 
watching you work. I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. <sighs> Bro, I gotta take a sip of my juice box. It's a key for what? Let's take it. Guys, we robbed Crane of $300. Boy, been holding my check this whole damn gameplay. Lots of money. Key. See, we found, we found, at least we found something here. Something useful to me. Same brand. Let somebody ask me. Open oh. arms. The same brand he had in his office. That Buffkin took a sip out of and got drunk. Buffkin was drunk, drunk, junky. Anything else? Boom. Uh oh. Crane might be out with that rifle somewhere. We better watch out, Big B. He might put two, one on our chest. I can't say two. That old ass gun. Gonna take years to reload. That ain't shit. Boom. That was this key for? Yes, sir. Oh! Where are you going? Jack. Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? Where was you going to go? You're like up on a 20th but, you know, floor. people like that sort of thing. What are you doing here? Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Right. Now why would you go through the window? Okay. Can't get away from me. You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch in connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring. What are you getting at? Do you know what's going on? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. Why would you show him that you got a hurt shoulder still? No, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? That's not something you need to know. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. What you got in that bag? You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Somehow I doubt it. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathemagician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who I'm she down. is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Fine. I got it. a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her, didn't it? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's honor, Sheriff. 
Yeah, because I'm a piece I, you up. The thing is, you don't want that. I don't know where you'd find her. Exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come yes, on. Sir. What you got, bud? I can see what you're peeling off with. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? This she nigga. uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. I wanna try that again? I wanna try that again? Is that it? Give me them shits. Take me? Girl, I'm busy. Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing? My damn self. Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. I ain't gonna oh, tell on this boy. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I this guess it doesn't matter money. yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Then what are we gonna do? She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Where I want to go? I'm going these I'll guys' places. I want to see what Bluebeard doing. A visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope you find something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. Hey, this, she's... I want to talk to you. Leave that boy alone. I already ran down on him. The Tweedle oh, Brothers yeah, Office. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Hi, Sheriff. What brings you here? What the hell happened? I'll have it cleaned up soon. I'm, I'm sorry. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I just finished cleaning. You know where he went? No. I don't know what he wanted. Yes, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. He punched you in your head. The truth. He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. 
But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice. I'm not my problem. You should talk to, talk Snow. to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, sure. <laughs> I need some money. money. You too, Sheriff Bigby. I'm sorry. No need to be mean to nobody we have to. But people that be mean to us. Crane, he need these hands. Bluebeard, you know, he acting a little crazy. I might want to fight him too. These people be tripping. All right, we have to trip trap. How much time we got left? Like 40 minutes? 115, 45 minutes. Of course, I told y'all. I like 40 minutes in the books. <laughs> See what's going on. We just open it up. We ain't got time for all this. We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, drunk as hell in here, the sheriff. Well, I'm not gonna bully y'all no more, buddy. Friend, what? He's a traveler, a weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood, so you should take advantage. Yeah, let's not blow that. Let him be cool. He chilling. Let's not bother, buddy. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Wow. Friend, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. But the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that Dude, he shouldn't awesome. mix it with alcohol. Drugs. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things, but wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. This boy's gonna pass himself that out. Funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? <sighs> Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start. Not starting the attitude now. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Now, yeah, because they Whatever. shot you. They All shot right. her and they shot me. Out of it Who gonna stop it? I want to clear There's three the of air. us, two bullets. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. 
as a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I just have a shot, bro, because he ain't gonna hush. We only got 45 minutes, damn near like 30 minutes, like 39 Dead. minutes now. 40 minutes. All right, now help me. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times are you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him behind all of our backs and Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit what fun that must have been trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily I didn't plan for that alright and our thing whatever it was it wasn't a big deal it wasn't I never f***ed her when she was snowing I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. Now you're teary-eyed. Until now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. That's all I need to know. Get your ass out, bud. You wasting my time. Y'all all wasting my time. Y'all boys is tripping. Can somebody give me information? If Ren. not, go on about your business for I fight y'all. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room. I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. What's she gonna trolls. do? Get beat up? I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. He won't remember this. Of course he won't. Why the hell is she still that damn big ass thing? She thick. Okay, uh. The hell, she good? Uh. There's something I could do besides bother her. Oh, we just gotta bother her. She laying here thick as hell. <coughs> grab what we gotta grab, let's go before she grab us. closed and Lily ain't around anyway so 
You can run off back to the woods, I guess. I ain't gonna say nothing to her. I got this bottle in here from, from Crane. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Give her some, you know, let her feel good before she wonder like why ain't nobody answering. She really wake up. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. All right. We've seen a lot of that. Let's see this book. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't the know same what night? Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... He's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Oh, I guess I'll take your word for it. Yeah, go back to sleep. Getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Green. Exactly. Gotcha. Founder, Hello, let's go, baby. Sir, I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Let's go. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? 14 minutes late. Uh, shit. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Bruh. We've been looking for this building this whole time. I, I, I need to do this. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Bitch, I'm about to go what in. What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Makes sense? You're not my boss. I ain't kicked the door yet. Ah! Oh my god! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! We are so sorry. We didn't realize you were right there. Oh shit. I, I mean, crap. I, I, I'm sorry. I, hey. I, I thought there was someone else in here. I, are you okay? Right as rain. Yes, Mr. Wolf can get a bit excited sometimes, but that's all over with now, I assure that's you. That's never no kid. Now, what's your name? Rachel, who are... who are you? Just so... we're not strangers. I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... 
Is there anything you need? Nah. I'm not allowed to let people in. That's her, bro. Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate? It's supposed to be a witch. And cats, I feel like that's that her. Kind of Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? These people. Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. That ain't no kid, bruh. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Never said we was looking for a person. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be. Yeah, like Crane. <clears throat> but we never said we was looking for a person. That's how I know that's not a baby. Look at this, bro. Let me see. Hold on. That your mom? Uh huh. <clears throat> if it is, it's a smart one. No one's been over all night, so. He's just going to check. All right. It'll only take a moment. Is that weed? You growing weed in here? What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Uh huh. Not here. There's no one here but me. Yeah, your mama be damned if she left you in the house alone. She'll go to jail. Where do you buy your clothes? <laughs> At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. The butcher. The butcher. What's that? A package <clears throat> having to do with someone called the butcher. Yeah. It's empty. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing. See, see, told you. You think you slick, huh? You think you real, real? I saw a spider over there yesterday. I should have bit you. God damn it! I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? You're not sleepy. Please. Your shit wearing off. Boom. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. You tried, huh? Let's see if your mommy show up. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! you got to believe it's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get in trouble. Yeah. Ah. Anti green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. You'll be all right. You should never been lying. I knew there was no baby. Don't know. Apparently, no child at home alone. You what? think this is a game? Not sprightly enough. You think we have time to waste on this shit? You think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no <laughs> heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you're on the ice. For owls do. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? 
brain could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Please, Greenleaf. Crane is a murderer and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Cranley, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Obviously, that's okay, why we're here. you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, You're not and the old the hags truth. like me get to watch everyone they love Let's go. die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Nigga. Now somebody better Bigby, get the... This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. Here's the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. So no, you're not my Go boss yet. You know, you aren't technically okay. my boss yet, Snow. Do you think this is a joke? No, I don't. Fact is, Cole hasn't confirmed you, and until he does, you have absolutely no authority over me. I'm not gonna burn down this tree. Exactly. All right, let's go. Hey, you know I'm pausing this. I don't give a damn what Snow remembers. She ain't took me to the bed yet. She ain't took me to. I ain't took her to dinner. We ain't did nothing. We ain't did nothing. Uh, partnership related. So I don't give a damn what she think. I don't give a damn what's going on in her mind. Just because you got glamour, somebody got glamour to look like you, don't mean we gotta burn her whole tree down because you mad. Shit, you should have just gave it to Crane. Nobody would have been in this situation. So I'm not burning her tree down. You burn it down. Let her turn your hey, ass into a cat. Don't think this is over. I won't. She upset with me. It's all right though. Once you bust a move, son, we should be good. But until then, nah. So right now, y'all, we gonna wrap this up right here. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button for your boy. Hit the subscribe button as well. It's saving. So um, next episode, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see where Crane is. I don't know. Maybe the last episode. I don't know. Seems like we're coming to an end. So thumbs up. Get this to 50 likes, and we're back in here with another episode. And we're going to be checking out the pudding and pie, as y'all just seen. With that being said, man, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed your snacks, your little food, whatever you guys had. You know, slide out. So, you know, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace.